We always got our hands full. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sarah and David, can you introduce us to your little boys? So this is Noah, Noah Jeans. Here you go. <laughs> and uh, this sleepy head here is uh, Joseph Lennon. How old are they? Five months. Well, I think God has blessed you. <laughs> yeah. The two beautiful boys. Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward from Him. Children born to a young man are like arrows in a warrior's hands. How joyful is a man whose quiver is full of them. What does being a dad mean to you, uh, David? Uh, being a dad, just uh, right now it's more of a... Uh, playing with them, giving my wife some free time. Yeah. But as they grow older, it's going to be more of teaching them from right and wrong and teaching them about Jesus and making sure that uh, their lives are, are full of love. Fathers, do not exasperate your children. Instead, bring them up in the training and instruction of the Lord. What does being a mother mean to you? Um, being a mother means like I have to provide this comfort to them, this like this safety, and you know, it's like Dave said, like teaching them about Jesus, teaching them about God. Like at night, like I sing them, Jesus loves me every night, like, and Jesus loves the little children, and like that's their their cue to go to bed, but it's also like a safe song that they'll cherish forever um, but it's being a mom is just a totally different experience like it's rewarding and you have pride in it and just you know God trusted me and Dave with these two little lives and we're blessed <laughs> they're twins but they're so unique from each other that's that right and, yeah Welcome to Tribal Trails. Today, I am visiting with David and Sarah Lazarus. What an enjoyable, pleasant young family. They live in Sudbury with their twin boys. It's so good to hear that they want to raise their kids in God's ways. Let's hear how they grew up, what's important for them in their lives, and how they live their lives as a couple. David, tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, yeah, my name is David Lazarus. Um, 26 years old. I was born and raised in Moose Factory, Ontario. I I was I lived there until I was nine years old. And when I was nine, I'm, in 2001, I moved here to Sudbury, Ontario, and been living here ever since. And oh, what brought you to Sudbury at nine years old? Uh, it was my parents' decision just to oh, okay. move to the city and expose yeah. me and my siblings to more more opportunities, I guess. Yeah and expose us to better schooling, maybe, I guess. Yeah. How many in your family? Uh, I'm the youngest. Okay. My brother, he's, uh, he's nine years older. He's around 30, he's 35 years old. Okay. My sister is 30 years old. Okay. And so I'm the youngest. Oh, okay. <laughs> so by the time you came here, they would be in high school. Yeah, they were both in yeah, high school and high I was school. still in public school. Yeah, yeah. Is that a big change? Uh, yeah, it definitely was. It was uh, it was a really big change, especially being such a young age too. And, yeah. But at the same time, I was fortunate enough to go to school with a group group of kids, and that accepted me right away and oh. made friends right away. Yeah. And my uh, mom always said I was very uh, outgoing, so I was yeah. really get along with everybody I met. Good. You didn't experience uh, prejudice. And and stuff like that. Uh, no, not no. fortunately. I yeah. was very yeah. happy that I didn't get to experience anything yeah. too extreme like that. Yeah. And um, did you hear about God? Uh, I didn't hear about God right away when I moved to Sudbury. Okay. It was around the time, grade, I guess in grade six. So I must have been 11 years old, 12 years old. Yeah is when I first started hearing about God and this is when I first started coming to this church. 
hall. It was that right? Yeah, it wasn't this church. Oh. It was a more of a community hall at the time. Yeah. So I was here, been coming here since I was six years old, or not six years old, oh. grade six. Yeah. 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 Um, but growing up, I played a lot of hockey. Okay. So that's one of the main reasons what brought me here is playing hockey. In church is when you first heard about the Lord? Yes, it was. Okay. Um, my mom was the first one in our family that kind of gave her life to the Lord. Yeah. And because of her, I was coming to church more often and seeing what it was like to be living the Christian life firsthand in my own home. And I saw a big major difference right away. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until grade nine a bit after grade nine is when I gave my life to the Lord. Okay. What, um, why did you do that? Uh, I just knew it was, it was the right thing to do. Growing up, you know, my mom and dad, were, their job was to teach me right from wrong. And yeah. as I got older, it was my job to make decisions. Yeah. So I knew that was the right decision to make. And yeah. I've been walking with the Lord uh, since I was 15 years old. And it was, it was, it's not a straight walk. It wasn't yeah. a smooth walk. It was, mm -hmm. I, yeah, it was, I stumbled a little bit, but I still maintained it. And I'm thankful. How that did, I, how did God see you through those? It would have been your teenage years, right? Yeah. It was uh, very challenging for me yeah. at first. Yeah. Um, that is a very challenging part of a young person's life. Yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. For me, it was more coming to church and reading my yeah. Bible on a daily basis what was a struggle for me. Yeah. Oh, okay. But uh, I, I'm, I've improved a lot since then and <laughs> and God, like God is so, so great and merciful and He knows I have, I'm not a perfect Christian or anything, but He still blessed me with, you know, a beautiful wife and yeah. beautiful kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about that. About my wife? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I met her in grade nine. We That's when I was playing hockey. She would come to my games, and um, I, see, I would see her in high school. We would hang out in high school, and okay. then we eventually started uh, hanging out after school or not at hockey. We would start hanging out, yeah. and uh, we were seeing each other for a while. Then she moved back home. And I was still mm -hmm. playing hockey. And I think after Serbia, we moved to Ottawa. And we were young at the time, so we kind of drifted apart. And mm -hmm. it was around grade 12 is when we got back. I, I, moved, I moved down south to Brantford. Mm -hmm. I played uh, junior hockey in Brantford oh, for okay. three years. Okay. And that's when I we kind of crossed paths again in grade 12. and. We started, we've been together since then, I guess. Oh, yeah. okay. So, yeah, I guess you can say she's my high school sweetheart, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And how long after that did you get married? Uh, so, we started seriously dating when we were 18. And we got married when we were 25 years old. Good, <laughs> good. So, Sarah, tell me a little bit about your life. Well, I um, I grew up in Moosney, Ontario. Oh, until, you did? Yes. Okay. Until I was about eight years old. Mm -hmm. And then my mom decided to move to Quebec to oh. Bemidji, okay. which is where her mom is from. Oh, okay. Yeah. So all of her, or most of her sisters are already living in Bemidji, so it pretty much felt like home to her. So. Yeah. That was nice growing up with my cousins and women G after. So it wasn't a total different place to be. Like I got to know my cousins a bit more. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And oh. so are are you the only one in the family? No, I have two siblings. I have an older brother. Oh, okay. Who's twenty nine and a younger sister who's twenty four. Okay. And you're right in between there? I'm the middle child. Oh. <laughs> okay. And um, you were in Bemidji, so um, what kind of a home life did you have? Um, in Bemidji or in Moosby? Oh, well, you're, 
forever. <laughs> you can well, say post. Well, in, in Moosni, my home life, my mom sent us, like me and my siblings, to Sunday school twice oh. in one Sunday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we okay. got to go to um, the Baptist church. Okay. Which was, I think, at 9.30. And mm. then oh. shortly after that, they would drop us off at the Anglican church, <laughs> where my mom would be. Oh. Okay. So we got to go to Sunday school at two different churches every oh. Sunday. Every Sunday. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So then when I moved to Wimengi, um, there wasn't really Sunday school mm. consistently there, but in Women G at school, they actually had a class. It was called uh, MRE, so they taught from the Bible during those classes. But what about a personal relationship with Christ? A personal relationship? Yeah. Not necessarily in my younger years. Like, I knew God. Like, I knew, you know, at a certain point, like, you're not a child anymore. Like, you're not going to go to heaven if you don't accept Jesus. I understood that from a young age because I was taught that. Yeah. But I'd never made that step, not until I was in my twin, no. 19, 19, I think 19. I had this friend, this teammate on my hockey team. And I feel like she led me to that. Like I would ask her questions and be like, well, you accepted Jesus. So how do you, like, what do you do to follow him? What do you do with your relationship with him? I asked her those kind of questions. In your hearts, revere Christ as Lord. Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have. But do this with gentleness and respect. So we're actually still pretty good friends. Oh, okay. Yeah, which is, it's actually crazy how we cross paths again oh, okay. in life hmm. at Liberty. Oh. Yeah, and Liberty is in, um, Lynchburg, Virginia. She was my hockey teammate in Ottawa. Oh, yeah. okay. So when I was maybe 15 or 16, I never knew she knew God. Like, I never knew any of my teammates, like if any of them knew God, but so I didn't know that until I crossed paths with her at Liberty University. And so once she made that commitment to Christ, did you notice a difference in your life? Yes. You did? <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> well, at the time it was when it happens, like this big weight is lifted off your shoulders and you just, you feel lighter, like you feel, I'm ready for this and yeah. Okay. Were you going with him at that time? Yes, I was. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was excited to tell him about it <laughs> oh, when it happened. Okay, so he, you already were walking with the Lord at that uh, time? Yeah. yeah. He used to always ask me like, well, why are you, why didn't you just accept Jesus like you know yeah. him? You know. Yeah. Our family friend, Mervyn, would always tell us that, oh, yeah. <laughs> that uh, <laughs> Jesus said, like, uh, you must be born again. Or you, it's not, he's not saying you should be born again. It's, uh, it's a command, right? Yeah. I'd always tell her that. <laughs> <laughs> Cued into the words, narrow down the meaning that Jesus died for you could you start believing though we've never seen him walk upon the water or heard his hollow teachings he taught in the temple he is jesus three in one jesus who is god jesus holy spirit life of living in complete surrender what we know with reason trusting in his word that he'll never leave us that's jesus Ooh, jesus so did you graduate from liberty no i i uh, stayed there for one year and then i transferred to the university of ottawa oh okay yeah. okay and so that's why you were in ottawa yeah Okay, and so you graduated from Ottawa? From Ottawa, yeah. With what? A bachelor in human kinetics and a minor in psychology. Human kinetics, yes. oh, okay, and psychology. 
Yeah, good for you. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So is that what you work at now? Um, some aspects of the courses I took yeah. kind of touch on what I've learned in school, but oh. it's not exactly what I would choose to do yeah. long term. Yeah. So David, you were going with uh, Sarah for a while. Yeah. What made you think that she was a good wife? <laughs> <laughs> um, because of just how independent of a woman she is and oh. how she how well she took care of herself on her own. She's yeah. been away from family since mm -hmm. since I don't know, basically what old since fourteen? Yeah. yeah. 14. I, would, She's oh. been, I would leave home and go to school and play hockey. Yeah. And uh just getting to know her as well yeah. how good good of a person she is how big of a heart she has as well and mm -hmm. she's got a lot of little cousins little nieces and nephews mm -hmm. and you get to see her firsthand how she is with them and how kind yeah. she is with them mm -hmm. wonderful yeah yeah <laughs> yeah so you got married here yeah and not not in the church but in Sudbury. in Sudbury. yeah in Sudbury. yeah okay Okay, so you were going to university, so I'm sure you've let a lot of young men and even at Ottawa. So what made you think that he was the man God chose mm -hmm. for you? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was like more how we always cross paths and mm -hmm. yeah. how close like we got to, I guess, be together. Even if it was like long distance, it always it kind of always worked with us. Like, and I, I saw that as a sign. Dave actually ended up moving to Ottawa. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I learned in Ottawa. <laughs> I went yeah. to uh, college in Ottawa for three years at Algonquin oh, College. Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay. What did you take? I took uh, electrical engineering uh, okay. technology. Yes. It was a three-year course, and I graduated with my diploma. Good for you. Congratulations. Yeah. During, so during the whole time we were in Ottawa, it was when our first. It was our first time in our relationship where we were in the same area oh, okay <laughs> so that was a big that, yeah. that helped us a lot yeah. a lot so we graduated in april yeah. then we got engaged in september yeah okay you moved to women g for a bit yeah we moved to women g for a year we've been living there and so you got married soon afterwards yeah a year 13 months after 13 months after <laughs> 13 months yes um so do you have Christ in your marriage? Yeah, it kind of it worked out really good for us right now. Okay. Um, just to explain, like after we graduated our school, we moved to YMG for a year and a half, where Sarah had a full-time job, mm -hmm. and I was working uh, replacement work, and I ended up getting a, a full-time job at the at the airport. Then when Sarah was pregnant, she was able to take maternity leave from okay. her job. Yeah. We then I ended up getting a new job in Sudbury, mm -hmm. and her my job kind of started when her maternity leave started. Oh, so that worked out. <laughs> so good. it worked out good. So we moved to Sudbury. Sarah had her boys. I was working. Yeah. And um, right now I'm working, and she's take at home with the boys, and I help out when I can. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's just amazing what what he's what Jesus is able to do and to help us. Yeah. And uh, before we got married, we uh, Mervin Chichu is the one who married us. Okay. And his requirements were uh, marriage counseling with him yeah. for six sessions. Yeah. And we got to learn a lot about mm -hmm. what being a Christian is and what being married married to each other meant. Mm -hmm. We learned a lot about how the closer we are to Christ, the closer we'll be together. Yeah, the love triangle. Yeah, the love triangle. <laughs> yeah. You made sure to communicate the, that to us. You said the Lord triangle. What does that mean? Oh, I called it the love triangle. So oh, love triangle. Yeah, yeah. so it's um, God's on top, and then there me, and then yeah. Dave. So if one of us grows closer to God, we'll grow farther from our spouse. 
So uh -huh. if we both grow closer to God, we'll both move together. Towards, both together. Move together. Yeah, closer oh. to each other and to God. <laughs> That's the way yeah. we've even explained it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm not. What a good <laughs> illustration. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And so, so in this triangle, you both move closer to God together. How do you do that? Uh, we. Well, we kind of push each other. Yeah. <laughs> Keep each other accountable. Keep each other accountable. Oh, okay. Uh, we were reading bi our Bibles together on a okay. daily basis. Uh, Sarah has a little calendar at, in, our, in our washroom. <laughs> a daily calendar with verses. With verses. and um, oh. It's actually um, the Chapman love was it chapman love languages so yeah. it okay. touches on different love languages to remind you to to keep your spouse in mind and mm. yeah yeah <laughs> nice mm. yeah i've never heard of that <laughs> yeah that's very nice and yeah yeah and our uh, the pastor here kevin yeah. which is sarah's uncle and her his, kevin's wife uh, norma they gave us a dvd set to watch together. Uh, to watch together about love and being a Christian and being married, and yeah. that really that really opened up our eyes as well. And it was really the difference between men and women and how they they, I guess, talk and communicate and listen yeah. and how receptive they are. Yeah. 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 So that yeah. was to each other. Yeah. So before we got married, we knew it was going to be a lot of work. <laughs> 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 yeah, Mervin, yeah, Mervin made sure to yeah. explain it to us. <laughs> oh, good. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And we're also taking um, the same class, Christianity Explored, that's offered here at the Sudbury First Nations oh, Church. Oh, yes. Yeah. So that's helping. That's helping us. Yeah, stay it's accountable. Yeah, it's helping stay as accountable, and with that, about. with that class comes a bit of homework. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we gotta do our studying as well. <laughs> okay. Which is good. Which is yep. good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. Which is good. You mentioned you came to know the Lord. You came to know the Lord, and then you got married, and everything sounds beautiful yeah. and wonderful. <laughs> but I know Christian life sometimes is not always easy. No, it's no. not. Yeah. Do you like to talk about that? Uh, yeah, for me, it was a, the big struggle for me was uh, my friends that I hung out with. Oh, yeah, that's hard. It's uh, they're not living that life, yeah. and they're my closest friends, right? And I yeah. I grew up with all those all my friends, and yeah. and for me, it was just coming out and just standing up and saying, I'm a I'm a Christian or. I don't do that stuff anymore, and it's uh, there. Um, once I took that stand, it was the, it's, it's easier. It's a lot easier. I didn't mm -hmm. realize how respectful my friends were until then. Yeah. And then I'm, you know they're your friends. Yeah, obviously yeah. my my friendship circle got a little bit smaller, but that's fine. Yeah. So for me, that was that was the real struggle. I struggled that, with that for many years. Yeah. I was a little ashamed I guess yeah. at times yeah and uh, I'm proud to say I'd, I've been keeping strong for a good while now so <laughs> yeah I'm take very I can take a lot of pride in it right now yeah. and I'm hoping I can be an example for my friends as well yes <laughs> me? for you <laughs> <laughs> um, for me it wasn't really not that like it wasn't hard. It was, I guess, it's easier. I, I would say it's kind of easier as a female because yeah. like in hockey for females, like it's not a big deal, like with the drinking and drugs and mm -hmm. all that stuff. Like I was pretty, I was, I was raised strong-willed and I had my sister, my younger sister, who's two years younger than me, like she's my best friend. Like I had her who walked with me. So I had her as support for most of the time. Yeah. Um, not that I didn't have struggles per se, but yeah. I've had my my battles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Would you like to share share a Bible verse? My favorite verse. <laughs> okay. So one of my favorite verses is um, Jeremiah twenty nine eleven. It's uh, it says, "For I know the plans I have for you," says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future. And a hope. 
and that in times where I did struggle like in life I always like referred to this verse it's this one in Philippians 4 13 um, just that you know God has my best interest he he has a plan for me he has a future and it's to help me it's to give me hope and I think, yeah, he, he's got my back. <laughs> he gave me Dave and our marriage and our boys. And yeah. yeah. I'm excited for the future. Okay. future. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a Bible verse, Dave? Yeah, I got a verse. Uh, when me and Sarah got married, uh, we had a verse written on our, our wedding invitations. Okay. It was... Uh, yeah, on the back, First John, chapter four, uh, number four nineteen. We love each other because he first, he loved us first. And the key word in there is obviously love. And for me, for for being a Christian, to me is showing love and compassion and being kind to people. It's not about judging people or trying to be better than anybody else and I just try to remain humble as to maintain to be my humble person and yeah just to show love I guess yeah what a wonderful testimony it's so encouraging to see how a life with Jesus really changes perspectives Sarah and David grew up in a Christian environment, but they knew that they themselves had to make a decision for a real relationship with Christ. Through this decision to live for Jesus, Sarah and David were able to set boundaries for their lives, which their friends really noticed. They also have a clear concept of how they want to live as a family. They want to raise their children in a safe and loving environment. If you are touched by their testimony or want to change your life for the better, let us know. We'd love to hear from you. Stash Jesus. Ooh, Jesus. He is Jesus. Three in one Jesus. Who is God? Jesus. Jesus.